Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Today, uh, Adama will be on praising God. Praising God, people take it for granted. But it's very, very important in terms of worshipping God. We need to learn how to praise God in all situations. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15 says, Be joyful always, pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life, in union with Christ Jesus. It is mandatory that we praise the Lord at all times, in any situation. When we are happy, when we are on the dance floor, we need to praise the Lord. When we are on the upward swing, we need to praise the Lord. When we are lining down, we need to praise the Lord. When we are jumping, we need to praise the Lord. In the midst of plenty, we need to praise the Lord. When it's lean, we need to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord at all times. Uh, it is awesome to praise in God. Uh, we can praise God in prayer by addressing God. This is why I like uh, my people in Africa. They know how to, how to uh, give accolades to Christ. And if you can give thousands and thousands of accolades to a king on earth, he will rise up, up from the throne and shower a lot of his wealth to you. And the same thing applies to our God. When, when the Solomon one day kill about 1,000 animals to praise, to praise God, God was bewildered and marveled. What? What a, 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 a beautiful, a handsome son could afford to do this for me? And of course, we know the history of Solomon. Someone uh, before him, in his own time and after him, we have not seen any king as worthy, as blessed as Solomon, uh, King Solomon. It is my prayer that all listeners today, the Lord will bless you manfully, all your lost ones, the Lord will return them in many, many folds, like he did to Job in his own time. We can praise God by honoring God for his goodness and power, for who he is. Uh, we will see some case studies as we uh, go along uh, the, the dialogue. We can tell God uh, specific things done and be thankful for in our in in worship and praising God. We can praise God even if you are currently going through hard times. As uh, Buttress in the Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 21, we can ask God to continue to bless us in worshiping and praising Him. And in terms of most of praising God, there's no heart and defined line. You can praise God in so many ways. You can appreciate in many ways. You can give all songs of songs to Him. You can compose a lot of songs. Why? I admire King David. King David lifts up his hands to God, praising Him to worship him. As we see, as he says, I will praise God at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. That is Psalm 34, verses 1 and 2. We proclaim praise God through songs to glorify him. And the Bible is very example, it's an example here. We read, can read that one from Psalm 40, verse, verse 3 and 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verses 13 to 14. We can also use art and craft in the form of praising God when we draw people that we appreciate the way it is designed in a, in a, in a, in a diagram. We can read the, Bible, the scriptures that inspire to praise God. Like I said, Psalm 34 verse 1. We can praise God by sharing the good news to others. And when you look at uh, uh, King David, he, he, he demonstrated better than most of the people. For some, Psalm 27 is a prayer of praise. 
Psalm 30 is a prayer of thanksgiving. Psalm 33 is a song of praise. Psalm 65 is a praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 66 is a song of praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 67 is a song of thanksgiving. Psalm 92 is a song of praise. 95 is a song of praise. 100, which I everybody lost most, most of the time, is a hymn of praise. Psalm 104 is a praise of, of our Creator. Psalm 111 is a praise of the Lord. While Psalm 113 is a, a praising of the Lord's uh, goodness. Psalm 116 in praise of the Lord. 117 in praise of the Lord. 118 a, pray, a prayer of some giving for victory. Psalm 127 is a, in praise of God's goodness. 133 is a praise of living in peace. Why Psalm 135 is a hymn of praise. Also, 136 a hymn of praise and thanksgiving. 138 is a, a prayer of thanksgiving. 144 is a king thanks God for victory. Psalm 145 is a hymn of praise. Psalm 146, in praising of God the Savior. 147, in praise of God the Almighty. While Psalm 148 is a call for the universe to praise God. Everybody pray to praise the Lord. Psalm 149 is a hymn of praise. And I love Psalm 150. It's very, very melodious. It's sweet. It says, Praise God in his temple. Praise his strength in heaven. Praise him for the mighty things he has done. Praise his supreme greatness. Praise him with trumpets. Praise him with harps and lyres. Praise him with drums and dancing. Praise him with harps and flutes. Praise him with symbols.